Welcome to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Now we've seen our fair share of dash warning lights. I mean, we've seen check engine lights, we've seen ABS lights, and we've even seen a couple of TPMS, tire pressure monitor lights. But Brian, this one's a little different, man. This is a little guy sitting there with this big airbag popped out in his face. Yeah, that one, the SRS, Supplemental Restraint, and it's red. That's a little bit scary. Yeah, and what that means is airbag something, right? And there is a lot of fear and trepidation around any type of airbag service or repair. The good news is, with the right tools and the right process, we can show folks today how easy this is that just about anybody can tackle this issue. And the right tools is key. I mean, we're talking about our Rock Auto scan tool right here. First step, we got a dash light, we scanned it. I got a U0171. U's interesting. We saw P, powertrain, C for chassis, and we seen body controls with a B, but use a network code. So what that led us to is a loss of communication, which is network, it wants to talk, loss of communication with that right front impact sensor down there. We have an issue with that. That's going to be a problem. And that code find is absolutely everything. Think about it. There's side curtain airbags. There's rear air airbags these days. There's seat sensors, weight sensors, seat belt sensors. There's so many things that could trip this light in the SRS system that scanning the code and knowing where to begin is everything. It's going to save us a lot of exploratory surgery. So we're right here. Absolutely. You know, and it's simple. I got a schematic up here on the screen. That's always the first place to go is to take a look at the system. And this one's pretty simple here. You can see the occupant restraint controller that's located inside the car. Now step one was to unplug that. We want to take away the power from that and we just want a wire harness just sitting there and it goes down here and it feeds this front impact sensor, the right one that's located on the actual support of the radiator on the passenger side and then I have both of these connectors so we can see what we're dealing with. Do the research, take a little time, make sure you're dealing with the right ones. But the cool part Brian is right here. There's different tests you can do. You know in this test it's specific for this circuit but it works on all the circuits, any circuit. You want to check for a couple of things. What you want to check for is short to voltage, short to ground, make sure the wires aren't touching together, short to each other, and then just check continuity from where the sensor lies all the way back to the computer. They're pretty simple, but you know what? We even simplify it more. Let's go through each one of them step by step, and we'll start by making sure there's no voltage there. Great. Let me get this right front sensor connector off. Here we go. Easy to get to. All right. We're set up for volts. That's right. what we need, right? DC volts. I'll switch it over right there. Okay. We're in good shape. I'll All go right. ahead and hit one post. All right, you hit one post. Okay, there you go. And I'll go in the other one. Now remember, it's unconnected. So what should we see is zero volts. That's right. a good thing. If we saw voltage with it unconnected, now it's unconnected on this end and that end. Yep. So that means that some wires feeding it power and if it's feeding its power, it's going to go ahead and short it out. We're going to lose communication with that sensor. That's a bad thing. But we're good because we got zero there. That's a good thing. So the now, voltage test is okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to check it across from each other, make sure the wires aren't touching each other. So to do that, we're going to switch our meter over to ohms of resistance, and we're going to go in the same two terminals. So if we go in those same two terminals once again, what we're seeing is OL, that's, that's out of limits, that's open. That's yep. a good thing, that's once good. again, on this one, because what's happening is those wires are not touching together. Matter of fact, if you put it back in there, yep. I'll reach over and I'll touch your terminal, yep. and you can actually see ohms of resistance, that would be bad. We don't want them touching, we want them to go completely back to the computer inside of there and not touch each other. Yep. Now another one, what if it's shorted to the frame, short to ground? Yep. Very simple to check. Now these are on any sensors, any circuit. That's the cool part. So you can go ahead and you take that. I'll take the ground. I'm going to switch over to a clamp right here. Yep. And then you can either go to a battery or find a suitable ground. This car is absolutely perfect because we have a suitable ground right here. We can go ahead and clip it to the ground wire. Go. And then you're going to go to the terminal on ohms of resistance. Brian, you got OL. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now go to the other terminal. I'm checking. There you go. And OL. Once again, good thing. We're not touching anywhere on the frame. If you did, put it back in there, put yep. your hand on the frame, and touch that little terminal you with go. your finger. Yep. Bam, you see that? Yep. The electrons are running through you, through the meter, yep. and it's looking at them. It's actually getting back. So we don't want those wires touching the frame anywhere. Right. So what that tells us right now is that our circuit integrity is in good shape here, all the way back to the module. We just have to check the wires, and that's the last two right here. We're gonna go from the impact sensor all the way down to the controller inside, and we wanna check continuity from each one. Now, which one? There's a bunch of connectors. Well, 12 and 26. So Brian, you got to get inside of there, check it out, and we'll see what's going on there. All right. Okay, so which connector do you work on in here to check for continuity? Good question. Remember when you looked in the service manual online and John's diagram said a big yellow connector? Here's another tip. All SRS connectors are yellow. So we've located it in here 
Frankly, we probably could have just pulled the ashtray to get to this, but so that you can see what we're doing, we've removed the center console here. So what we're gonna do is back probe this and check for continuity, resistance, up to that connector up front. So John, I think I'm ready. Perfect, you know, that's the connector we had unplugged the whole time, so our wire harness goes from here all the way to that. Brian, we're looking at terminal number one out here and you have to go to 12, that's the same wire. So if you go ahead and put it in 12 down there, we should have some continuity, perfect. All right, so Got you it. had about 0.2 there, and that shows us that there's not a lot of resistance. That's a good thing. So that means that the wire's connected, but there's no corrosion or anything going on. Now, Brian, if we switch over, I'm gonna go to two out here. So if I go to two and you go in there and find 24 is the other one. Got it. And that one's showing 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Perfect. So that Perfect. means we have continuity all the way through the system from here to there. No corrosion, no problems. Now the wire harness is in good shape. The circuit integrity is in good shape. We know it's a sensor. So Brian's going to go ahead and start working on this sensor. But when we come back from break, you don't want to miss it. There's more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Make sure you come back because there's going to be a big bang that goes along with this system.